But it behooves us as a nation to pay attention to this disease, to ask ourselves, what is the cause of the disease? How do you cure the disease? What are the effects of the cure? What are the side effects of it? To consider in somewhat more specific detail the experience of the United States over the past decade or two and the present situation that we face. Now the first step toward understanding the cause of inflation is to recognize that it is always and everywhere a monetary phenomenon. It's always and everywhere a result of too much money, of a more rapid increase in the quantity of money than an output. Moreover, in the modern era, the important next step is to recognize that today governments control the quantity of money so that as a result, inflation in the United States is made in Washington and nowhere else. Of course, no government any more than any one of us likes to take responsibility for bad things. We're all of us human. If something bad happens, it wasn't our fault. And the government is the same way. So it doesn't accept responsibility for inflation. If you listen to people in Washington talk, they will tell you that inflation is produced by greedy businessmen, or it's produced by grasping unions, or it's produced by spendthrift consumers, or maybe it's those terrible Arab sheiks who are producing it. Now, of course, businessmen are greedy. Who of us isn't? Trade unions are grasping. Who of us isn't? And there's no doubt that the consumer is a spendthrift. At least every man knows that about his wife. But none of them produce inflation for the very simple reason that neither the businessman nor the trade union nor the housewife has a printing press in their basement on which they can turn out those green pieces of paper we call money. Only Washington has that printing press and therefore only Washington can produce inflation. If you listen to the people from the communist world, they'll tell you cap inflation is a capitalist phenomenon. That's not true. If you look at Europe today, one of the most rapid rates of inflation in Europe has been in Yugoslavia, which is a communist country. One of the slowest rates of inflation has been in Switzerland, which is a capitalist country. So inflation is not a capitalist phenomenon. But neither is it a communist phenomenon. If Switzerland has low inflation, the United Kingdom in recent years has had inflation rates running up to 20-25% a year. Italy has inflation rates today of that order of magnitude. Inflation is not a capitalist phenomenon, it's not a communist phenomenon, it's a printing press phenomenon. Now in saying the that inflation is a printing press phenomenon, in saying that inflation is always caused by a more rapid increase in the quantity of money than an output, you're only at the beginning of the problem. 